In Act 1, Section 3 of The Importance of Being Earnest, Lane ushers in Lady Bracknell, who is Algernon's Aunt Augusta, and Gwendolyn, his cousin. Icy, stuffy Lady Bracknell mentions a friend, Lady Harbury, who looks much younger since her husband has died, a humorous, morbid comment that serves as a warning about marriage. She then asks Algernon to help her plan an upcoming reception, and the two leave the room briefly. While they are alone, Jack, in the guise of Ernest, tells Gwendolyn how much he loves her. She says she loves him too, and that it has always been her dream to marry someone named Ernest. She just really loves that name. Jack asks whether she could love him if his name were something else, like Jack. She says, no way. Jack proposes anyway. Gwendolyn accepts, just as Lady Bracknell returns. When Gwendolyn tells her mother of the engagement, Lady Bracknell sends Gwendolyn to wait in the carriage, then quizzes Jack to make sure he's a suitable candidate. He seems to be until they get to the matter of his family. Jack never knew his parents. When he was a baby, he was placed in a leather handbag and abandoned in a railway station. Mr. Thomas Cardew found him and adopted him. Lady Bracknell rejects Jack's proposal to Gwendolyn because he lacks family connections, and she leaves. Jack explains the situation to Algernon, telling him that Jack plans to get rid of his imaginary brother, Ernest. They talk about what to do that evening, and then Gwendolyn returns so she and Jack can plan their next steps. They agree to write regularly, and when Jack gives her his address, Algernon makes note of it. Jack sees Gwendolyn to her carriage, leaving Algernon alone. Lane enters, bringing Algernon several envelopes and a sherry. Algernon drinks the sherry, tears up the envelopes without opening them, and informs Lane that he plans to go bunburying the next day. Jack and Gwendolyn's eagerness to talk about their love shows the importance of love in their lives. But Gwendolyn's desire to marry someone named Ernest, which she says has been a lifelong dream, is absurd. Earnestness was a desirable quality in the Victorian age. An earnest person is serious and sincere, as opposed to lighthearted or playful. Gwendolyn's desire to marry a man named Ernest is a case of linking language and reality too closely. She desires a man named Ernest because she wants a man who is earnest. Her all too literal wish is satirically over the top. Wilde employs humor to critique the arbitrary nature of social interaction, which is largely based on surface level traits rather than true character.